so we might as well just do whatever you want to do. Yeah, no, sounds cool. Um, I guess we could just, uh, we are stresses at zero, so we could literally just do chores, I guess. Yeah, no, sounds good. Yeah, yeah, adulthood is amazing. Yeah, is it, I can't remember, is it get rid of stress doing the chores? I think so, but our stress is at zero, so. Okay, can we change our work outfit or casual clothes? Yeah, that's our regular thing, and then... Oh yeah, mm. that's nice. And nice. That's, our, that's, our, that's our casual, we only have one casual outfit, I think, so. Oh, okay. No, we paid we 70... Go... We paid 70 bucks for this blouse. I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it. Down Hells here. yeah. <laughs> Go for it. All right. Okay. Um. So we literally we spent the weekend doing chores and nothing else. <laughs> yeah. mm. To be fair, I need to do that. Uh. Okay. I clicked past it by accident, but he wants us to go to a meeting, so I guess we should go do that. Sweet. Oh. Um. Something signed by Dorothy expires today. Oh, we've got two things that... Yeah, it, oh, damn, they both expire today. Whoa, it does count the weekend. Nice. Um, they don't so expire don't over the weekend, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd maybe suggest doing one of them at least before we go to the meeting, maybe? Uh, He said that the meeting starts in a couple of minutes, so we probably have okay, no choice yeah. but to go to that first, unfortunately, as much as I'd love to do that. Uh, Hey, where is everyone? <clears throat> Looks like it's just us, sweetheart. Bounk, 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 oh, bounk, we're, we're, we're alone bounk, in the boardroom bounk, together? Bounk. Yeah, gonna do some constitutional law, baby. Gonna sex it up. <laughs> bounk, 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 bounk. <laughs> yeah. Just need you to sign here first of all, love. Grab it in your hands. Oh, um, that's nice. <laughs> that's what they tell me. My idea of nice doesn't involve sitting around waiting for a meeting to start. You don't friggin' say. Damn, with the <laughs> F-bombs coming out of me. Hells yeah. The mouth on that girl. Sigh. Duck. Wanna skip it out? Oh. I kind of would. Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea after all. <laughs> oh, Ross ruined everything. We were about to play hooky behind the bike sheds. It would have been amazing. Hey, so I'm late. You know, I was just uh, getting ready to cock block you, and uh, the crown attorneys will be here in a minute. It's fine. Oh, he knows he just got cock blocked as well. Look at his face. <laughs> mm -hmm. I look at him. Oh, man. So much for that idea, huh? <laughs> oh, dear. You saucy minx. Yeah, she is. Redheads, man. Redheads. Okay. Mm. Um, it might. I don't know. Should we? Do, I think we should just work through lunch. Our stress is at zero, so I think we should just focus on getting our projects done. Because yeah, they both expire will. today. <laughs> uh, let's do Dorothy first. Okay. Let's phone the expert witness. <clears throat> yeah, I know that, but we get more money. Shut up. <laughs> I'll pick up the phone. Um. Hello, this is Dana Rose, calling on behalf of the Crown Attorney's Office. Dorothy would like to request an appointment. When would be your earliest convenience? I'll write down the date and time for Dorothy to meet with the expert witness. Oh, hello. Yeah, again. More work, more work. Totally ever worked. Hey, it's Dana, fine. how it's are fine. you doing? Yes, do more work for me, because I know you love it. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, yeah. I'll I'm glad to hear that. I've got something, RV, uh, blah, blah. Uh, you're kicking me out, okay, bye. More for RV Patel, that's all he has to say for himself. <laughs> Indeed. It is because I have no interest in really talking to you. Yeah, but to be fair, we've kind of ignored Pierre completely. <laughs> yes, you have, even though I'm so pretty. Mm. Alright, let's print the document for Pierre so he doesn't hate us. That's all good. Um... Wow, our stress is skyrocketing. Yeah, it is. But... Let's look at our projects. Let's see. Um, okay. Draw the, uh, bleh, Pierre gave us that today, so we don't have to worry about that. You. Yeah. And that's literally the only thing we have to work on. So, Wait. I'm thinking a, maybe a couple of rounds of solitaire just to get our stress down a little. 
Um, do you want to do that, or shall we go to the cinema? We can't do that till after work, I don't think. Uh, play solitaire then. Yeah, I mean, just a little, like, we can go to the theatre to bring it down a lot. Just get a little high. Just a little. (laughs) Want to get high? (laughs) Hey, just don't forget if you go to the theatre to bring a towel. (laughs) Don't forget to bring a towel. (laughs) Alright, um... Do we wait, wait, wait. Hmm? Move that down. And then to the right. (laughs) This made me think about the keypad, you know, when you played Funk Town. (laughs) Don't move down. <laughs> oh wow! That's that, my jam. That's my <laughs> that episode is amazing. <laughs> Take my time, uh, fuck it <laughs> Dude, I need to show you something after this. All right. Okay. So, okay. Okay. All right. Um, we could go to the theatre, but I'm wondering if I go home and watch the crime dramas, would that bring our stress down? I think it would, love. It would bring it down immensely. But I'm not sure it would do it all the way to, say, 5%. Um... I think the theatre trip would do the best. Perhaps to see uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know why. I don't think that's showing anymore, but uh, I guess we could uh, watch something else. Why is it not showing, love? It should always be showing. Always <laughs> see Captain Jack. Alright, let's, let's see a movie. It's expensive, but yeah. Alright, our stress is now zero, so yeah. Mm. Uh, we're groggy as always. <laughs> no, 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 indeed. Um, I'm really like, I don't know what to do about the case. Yeah, it's going to be hard. Um. Alright, okay. What up? I'm looking at this guide, hold on. Um. Phone Robin. After. Um. Alright. Here's what the guy says. After we phoned Robin, we should be there during our lunch hour, but we did that. We spoke to Robin. He didn't have anything useful. But after that, we should go to reception and okay. see if there's something there. So I guess we could try that. Yeah, our, go. We have a project, and that's it. So I think we're good. We can do stuff. All right. Um. Oh, oh hello. He's new. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mademoiselle La Rose. That's the Crown Attorney, Monsieur Williams. He's technically my real boss, I guess. I don't see him much, thank God. If I could have a word with you, love. Oh dear. <clears throat> Maybe I'm just nuts, but man oh man, does that guy give me the creeps. He is a creepy guy. He creeps me out. <laughs> Did I mention s- creep? <laughs> you don't <laughs> You don't say. Um, yes, sir? Do you have a lot of free time? Perhaps they're not keeping you busy enough around here. Um, no sir, not at all. Then why do you have the time to go poking around in old cases? Where you shouldn't be looking. I've been told you've been digging up things related to R.V. Roy Johnson. That case is not active. So don't worry your pretty little head. Um... I want you to stay away from anything about Jack Parker. Do you understand? Who the bloody hell's Jack Parker, actually? I, I don't uh, know. You shouldn't... <laughs> Perhaps that's just a huge hint he's just given us. <laughs> you shouldn't be wasting your time by investigating old cases. Am I clear? Um. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Only when he's gone do I feel safe to breath again. <laughs> I can breath. What the hell? What For just happened? No <laughs> what the hell? What just happened there? Why did 
He's terrifying, but what was that about? Why is he so insistent that I stay away from the case that Jean was working on before he died? And most importantly, who the hell is Jack Parker? So basically... Peter Parker's dad? <laughs> I guess he just gave us a clue, so... Yeah. Thank you, guide. Oh, balls, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to save. Uh... Which one should I overwrite? That one, I guess. Mm. Okay, thank you, guide. Okay, let's look up Parker. Okay, searching the database for Jack Parker. If he's ever appeared in court or served as a witness, then he should definitely come up. And one hit. He was charged with murder. Let's pull up the case file now. R.V. Parker. Here we go. Oh, man. <laughs> The full name, His Majesty King George V. Jack Parker. It's from 1938. King George? Yeah. And no verdict was ever passed on account of him dying. <laughs> Somehow, That's I don't think... That's not suspicious. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think this is the guy that Williams was talking about. No, that seems highly unlikely. <clears throat> oh, no. Couldn't be that same guy. But then again, it does look old enough. <laughs> I guess. All right. What? What now? Um. Tomorrow we should phone Robin again. Apparently. Okay. Cool. All right. Um. So for now, I guess what projects do we actually have? Um. Deliver the memo to Jonathan for Pierre, and I guess while we're there, we can speak to him and get some more work. Yeah. Efficiency. Plus, we can always talk to Ross and maybe clean an office or two. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, bum. All right, let's deliver the memo. Here you are. Pierre wanted you to get his memo for R.V. Patel. Sure, I'm yawning. <clears throat> it's all right, no worries. <laughs> Thanks, Dana. Uh, our stress is actually pretty high, so I was actually quite worried we'd be giving him our grocery list like we did with Dorothy. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't want that to happen. Go and play some solitaire, love. Yeah, let's talk with you first. Yeah. Chat about work. <laughs> oh! Oh! Damn. Damn. Wait, did we just lose points? I think so. Reload no! that. No! No, Senpai, no! <laughs> Reload that shizzle dizzle. Oh, uh, load. God damn it, Jonathan. Why are you so hard to please? Yeah, Parker, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Ross came to see us. Hello. I'm. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. I, I skipped past it, assuming he was going to repeat himself again, but he didn't actually, <laughs> so I'm going to reload again. <laughs> what if he doesn't come back? Uh, then I broke the game. Oh, hello. What? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it must be slightly random. It must be slightly random. So, yeah, yeah just go for it. We hello get to see. Sweetheart, how are you? I'm helpful. I'm good. I'm great. Is there anything I can do to help out? No, that's one for you. Here's what you can do on this RV Smith prep to help. That's all there is to do. Yay, and we got oh. Lots... oh, we got lots of points for that. That was that was so worth it. <laughs> that was so worth Sweet. it. Sweet. All right. But then um... again, Ross looked like he had maybe a clue for the case. And that uh, could be important. Um, I doubt they'd make that random. Yeah, hopefully not. He, should we try and talk to Ross, though? Just because it looks like... He had oh, well, I should play Solitaire first. Um, let me double-check on our projects first. We do need to deliver the memo to Jonathan for Pierre, but other than that, we're good. So I guess we can play a little Solitaire. Oh, hello. Oh. Ah. Sweet. Um. Oh. There's a meeting starting in like, uh, I don't know, maybe a few minutes that you should really go to. We're going to be watching some hockey, uh, have a few beers. It'd be good. Oh, that sounds like fun. I'll be right there. We might even watch a crime drama. Bye. <laughs> oh, crime dramas. I love those. They're my whole inspiration for becoming a lawyer. Ali Mobile is my hero. And I just want to hear somebody go, yeah! <laughs> when I do something. Uh, Alright, let's go to the meeting. 
Uh, oh, is this going to be another cock block situation? <laughs> uh, hey, wh- where is everybody? <laughs> Looks like it's just us, sweetheart. Oh, I, I, I sure hope we don't get cock blocked again. <laughs> Me too. Nobody's blocking this. My idea of nice doesn't involve sitting around waiting for a meeting to start. You don't say. Sigh. Wanna skip out? I kind of would, but we're going to get cop blocked in a second. <laughs> there we go, right, right. on time. <laughs> well, no, I, I think maybe the whole point of this game is it's actually one character that keeps morphing because you just saw Jonathan disappeared right in front of us and Ross was immediately there. Oh, no. Is it like that dude in third series of Avatar who keeps wearing different hats and pretending he's different people? You know, he's the I boat guy so. and then he's like the market guy or whatever. <laughs> yep. It's all one person wearing different wigs. <laughs> and he only had one black wig for Dana and Jonathan, which is why I don't look so different. Yeah, he just kind of restyled the fringe a little and kind of brushed it a little for, yeah. for Dorothy and then kind of quickly messes it up and gives himself some anime hair for Jonathan. Yeah. I knew this. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Uh, uh. Oh, sorry. He said <laughs> they, the Crown Attorneys will be here in a minute or something. So yeah, fine. it's fine. I look at him, oh, so much for that idea. It would have been amazing. And the whole that took it the whole day, Jesus. Alright, yeah. um, I guess we'll just go home and watch some TV then, because our stress is only 7%, so it's not too bad. Yeah, sounds sweet. Uh, watch TV. Crime dramas. I can't get over how gorgeous the guest star lawyer is. He looks like Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to be like... Looks like Dana. Is that oh, 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 my. oh, oh. The Rose, just who I was uh, looking for. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Good to hear it. If you have a few minutes, can you focus on the Campbell files? <coughs> it's no. This is so the one that we were. We nearly had the other day. Probably. It's an evidence transfer. A lawyer from the suburbs wants our files on uh, M. Campbell in relation to four charges. Okay. Should be, uh, be fun. That seems simple enough. Right, so what do we actually have to do? Deliver the memo to Jonathan for Pierre. Photocopy a memo for Jonathan. Draft a memo for Jonathan as well. And do the thing that Ross just asked us to do, but that doesn't... He just gave us that, so I'm not worried about that. Yeah. So photocopy first? Uh... Um, deliver the memo. Okay, let's let's draft the memo. Then when we speak to Jonathan and give him the memo from Pierre, he won't get pissy and be like, "Why haven't you done my work, you stupid slag?" Okay. All right, draft a memo. Yeah, that's amazing. All right. Oh, it's now lunch time. I don't think our stress goes up unless we work over lunch. Yeah, it went up pretty high last time, so I'd I'd definitely say sandwich it. Alright, okay, cool. Sounds good. I like the way she just said, it's alright, I guess. That's what she says every time. How are you doing? Sorry, hang on a sec. It's alright. Oh, good, yeah. I'm doing well. I'm glad oh. to hear that. I've got something for Avi Patel. I'd appreciate you doing that. Yeah, that's what you have to say. Do you ever talk about anything but Avi Patel, Pierre? Just saying. Mm, no, he was my lover. <clears throat> oh, God, we've got so much work. Look at this. Look at this shit. <laughs> Alright, yeah. uh, I guess... Photocopy that memo. Photocopy that shit, bro. Oh, <coughs> wow, my voice. You okay? Yeah, just a little scratchy. Do you want to go get some water quickly? I can wait. Ah, uh, no, I'm good. I think I'm good. Just need to uh, just clear my throat a bit. <clears throat> All right, okay. Uh, what am I doing? Copy room. Yes. Okay, that expires today, so I should definitely do that. Yeah. Wanna copy that shit up? <laughs> I spend the early afternoon making photocopies of the memo. Yeah, that somehow takes all afternoon. 
Yeah. Do we need to um? Do we want to photocopy the evidence transfer while we're here? Uh, do we have anything else? Oh, we still need to deliver the memo to Jonathan, uh, which I think expires today, and we have to report back to Jonathan as well. So I guess. Oh yeah, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, deliver the memo. Here you are, Pierre wanted you to get this memo for R.V. Patel. Thanks, Dana. Oh, and he's got... Okay. I guess we're going home, then. <laughs> yes, and now it's evening. Uh, oh, oh, we could do some overtime, but our stress will go up a lot if we do. But we'll get more money, so I'm like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't mind over time. Because I was just at six percent. Yeah, I just saved, so we're good. Uh, yeah. All so right, what does we have to do? We, well, we've got to draft the memo, which expires in two days, or like we have to photocopy as far as and report back to Jonathan. But obviously, Jonathan's gone home, so we can't do that. So we can only photocopy or do the thing for Pierre. Both of them have two days, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Has Jonathan definitely gone home? Uh, I would imagine so. It's the evening. Okay. Yeah, yeah he's, he's not crazy like us. Yeah, he's he's gone home like a sane person. He doesn't stay at work all day. All right. Um. So literally, is just draft the memo or photocopy the thing for Ross. So it, it doesn't really matter which we do. I guess we could do the thing for Ross just to get in good with our boss. I guess. I I draft the memo because Pierre, we need him to give up a bit more. I think. He needs to give it up. Yeah. Stick right. that sweet ass out and just... <laughs> <laughs> well, I stress one up to 19%. Whoa. That is a lot. That was a... That's a lot. Oh, Christ. And it's now night. Alright. Well, we saved, so... You have doomed us. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, now we have to spend our day playing solitaire. Yeah, I think play a quick round, get it down to a manageable level. 16% a bit better. Um, yeah. Actually, wait. Some lunch? Uh, oh, yes, it's now lunchtime, so let's go do that. Uh, eat lunch. Okay, it's gone down to 11%. Alright, that's a bit better. <laughs> and maybe play one more solitaire? Which I don't one? know, it's early afternoon, so I'm thinking, do we want to report back to Jonathan? Uh, yeah. Cause that, might might that might expire soon. Yeah, sounds like good. Right. Well done, sweetheart. I appreciate your help in my RV Smith prep. That's okay. Oh, oh, we're almost at full. We're almost at full. We're getting there. That's it. Fill me up, love. <laughs> I think. We wait, just wait. Got... I think we got that the wrong way round. Yeah, well... <laughs> Giggity. Giggity. Uh, yeah, so I think we've got to do maybe one more project for him and we can ask him out and see what happens when we do that. Alright, so... Apparently, if we go to our office, we can now phone Robin again. So I guess we should go do that. Yeah, so that's if It doesn't give me that option, though. Hmm. Uh, maybe from reception... I wouldn't think so. No. Um, we never really check reception anyway, so that's why I thought. Oh wait, no. Okay, all right. Never mind. Um, the guide says we have to go to Pierre or Dorothy's office and look up this Jack Parker person. Uh, I just assumed it would be our office, but I guess they have more files and things than us. Mm. So who do you want to visit? Uh, I guess uh, Dorothy. Yeah. No. Oh. Okay. I just feel like, you know, we're kind of ignoring Pierre. We're like, oh, you're too pretty, Pierre. We don't want to talk to you. Yeah, but we know, and he knows that's why we don't. <laughs> All right. Okay. So Dorothy then? <laughs> uh, yeah, because that way we get to stare at pretty. All oh, right. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Look up Parker. Hey, um, can I ask a favour? Sorry, Dana. Unless it's work-related, I can't help you. Oh, well, that's all right. Oh, so... Do wow, we have to do she's it? a bitch. <laughs> do we have to do it after she's gone home? Maybe? Um, I don't know. Wait, do you remember try what... try with Pierre. 
Do you remember what time period it was before I spoke to her? Did um, that eat up time, is what I want to know. <coughs> I don't think so. I uh, can't remember. I wasn't really paying attention, to be honest. No, I, I didn't notice it. Um, I guess the best way would just be to do it after she's gone home. Yeah. Alright, so what projects have we got? Uh, just the photo. Ross's should... thing. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go do that then. Alright. Well, it expires today as well, yeah, so that's a good thing. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, spend the late afternoon, and it's now evening. So, hopefully, if we go to Dorothy's office, we can now sneakily use her PC behind her back without her permission to do stuff. Hills, yeah. <laughs> Look up Parker. Looking him up. One hit. It's the one man from before. Not the guy I'm looking for. Man, this sucks. And our stress is now 24%. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna lose. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh, we got $25 we're from our die. page. We're gonna die. stressful. <laughs> nice. We got 25 bucks. Yay. Yeah. Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm doing well. I'm glad to hear that. I've got something for Avi Patel. I'd appreciate you doing Oh, of that. course you do. That's all there is to do. Alright, let's play some hardcore solitaire right now. I think you need to. I don't... All we have is the report thing that we just got, so... Yeah, yeah. go for it. I spend most of the day uh, doing that and then maybe speak to Jonathan before we go home. Yeah, and don't forget lunch. Of course, yes. After a hard play, a uh, day. oh yeah, after a hard day of uh, playing solitaire at work, we need to, you know, we need to get our sandwich in. Hell's yeah! All right, play. Oh, oh no, sandwich, oh. sandwich, sandwich, sandwich. Where is the sandwich option? <laughs> okay, sixteen percent. That's a bit better. Oh, hello. <clears throat> The roast, just who I was looking for. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thanks. Good to hear it. If you have a few minutes, can you focus on the Campbell files? Yay, more work. Amazing. Um, I guess, I think we can squeeze in one more round of solitaire before we... I'm pretty sure we can. Let's save, just to be safe, though. <laughs> Uh, let's overwrite this one. Okay. Okay, it's now late afternoon, so we should be called cool to go speak to Jonathan. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, Dana. I don't have time to work on this RV Smith prep, but if you'd like to make me happy, oh, and get down on your knees and get on with that constitutional law. God damn it, Jonathan. <laughs> yeah, he's so irresponsible. Yeah, it's like this is not a receptionist job. Just saying, this is not what a receptionist does. I mean, maybe because it's such a small company, their role would kind of have some crossover with helping out the other employees. But this yeah. is not what a receptionist is supposed to do. Uh-uh. Uh, alright, well... Alright. That's what I think we should do. Max out, ask him out, and then finish recording. That sounds good, because we're almost there. I think a couple of days and we've got it. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds right. good. Yeah, because I need to work on my cosplay a little. Same. Plus, we have been recording over an hour, I think. Uh, we chatted about Game of Thrones for a bit, so I think we've just been recording for just under an hour yeah yeah because we were on um an hour we we're on an hour 26 and yeah yeah but we'd spent like 15 minutes talking about game of thrones so <laughs> hills yeah hills yeah all right um what do we actually have to do get dorothy's signature for ross print a report for pierre i guess we should go do the thing for ross Wait, yeah. who, whose signature does he want, Dorothy? Okay. Go do the thing! Hi, Dorothy. I totally didn't use your computer without your permission. 
Hi, Dorothy. Ross needed your signature for this evidence transfer. Of course. Here you go. Signed and dated. Yay. Alright, I'm going to go home because our stress skyrockets when we do overtime. Yeah, let's go to the theatre. Uh, I don't know, we're probably cool to just watch TV. And then really? play a quick... Yeah, because we do that and then play a quick round of Solitaire in the morning, we should be cool. Because oh, yeah. We don't have that many projects at the minute, we've literally got one, so we should be cool. Yes, yeah, sounds sweet. Just because, you know, our money's pretty low, so... Yeah. Halfway through an episode of my favourite crime drama, what should have been obvious finally occurs to me. There were no useful hits on Jack Parker's name in any database, even the lawyers. But that doesn't mean the guy I'm looking for doesn't exist. It just means his name doesn't. I feel like such an idiot. Of course it doesn't. It's probably just an alias. God, why didn't I realise that sooner? Um, I know. Because you're a receptionist. <laughs> yeah, you're not a detective. You're not, um, you know, you're not what's his face from that show that we were talking about earlier. That I've completely forgotten the name of. Batman. The Mentalist. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the Mentalist. <laughs> uh... Yes. Yeah, sorry, you're not that detective, Batman. Batman. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Oh no. All right. Um. I guess we can just go window shop because our stress is a little bit high, but not high enough to warrant theatre. Yeah, sounds cool. All right. Go shopping. And we cannot... Off well, we could afford the red vest, but no. <laughs> go home. I went home after just window shopping. That did not affect our stress even slightly. Nope. Ugh. Uh, so we'll go to bed and do some chores tomorrow because chores usually helps. Yeah, I spend the day. No, that does not touch our stress. No, it didn't even go down one percent. Wow, unless you've got money, the weekend is a waste in this game. <laughs> yep. Oh. Uh, hello. Hey Dana, how are you doing? Could you finish the work I've given you? Wow. <laughs> Wow. Oh okay. yeah, it expires today. Okay. Yeah, no, it expires today. My so I, yeah, I think that's reasonable to be like, oh, you haven't forgotten about that work, have you, Dana? <laughs> All right, let's print a copy of the thing. Um, um, we yeah. So let's go have some lunch. Oh, report, oh wait, yeah, lunch hour. Report to Pierre to finish that, and then we can phone Robin again and progress the story and possibly make your voice break. <laughs> yeah. You can change his voice if you want. That, that was a bit much, I think. <laughs> okay. Maybe maybe ponder while I go speak to Pierre. Okay. Uh, talk with Pierre. Uh... Thanks, Dana. That was really great work on Avi Patel. You're fantastic. You know that. Hmm. Wow. He likes us. He really, really likes us. Boy, tiny bit, a tiny bit. Ross likes us more than he does. <laughs> and Ross has his eyes closed at the moment. Yeah, so let's go speak. Let's go eat lunch. There we go. All right, let's save that one. All right, let's phone Robin. Have you have you concocted any voice, perhaps? Yep. Yeah. All right, cool. It rings, <clears throat> it rings and rings. I swear, if I have to play telephone tag once more. Okay. <clears throat> hello. Uh, so hello, this is Dana LaRose calling again. Can I ask you something else about Roy Johnson case? It'll only take a minute. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Does the name Jack Parker mean anything to you? <gasps> Wait, mother? You know what I mean? Jack Parker, do you? Uh, maybe. I don't think it's his real name. No, I mean, no. I mean, continue. You mean, stay with Bonson. No. Well. 
How is he related to R.V. Johnson, though? Did you say over oh, a oh, 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 rover there? Over <laughs> oh, rover. And then he just hangs up again. How rude! I swear, every time I'm about almost about to make some progress, why does it have to be so hard? That's what she said. But damn! Damn! Why that can't I just... clapping sound was that was actually me high fiving you. Oh yeah! Why can't I just get a straight answer for once? <laughs> Well, at least I've got something. Uh, hmm. uh, that one, I guess. <clears throat> All right. uh, do we have any projects we should be doing? No. We are good. We are. We are good. All right, so I guess we can just look up Politsy, I guess. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, actually, no. Hmm. I'm kind of thinking, do we want to speak to Jonathan and get that last bit of meetup? But we can always just do that tomorrow. Mm, unless there is no tomorrow. I uh, I don't know. I don't think there's like a time limit in that case. Okay. Only say because day 30 seems like it could be one. Um, I mean, the, the guide doesn't say anything about a time limit. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, talk I, I to just, Pulitzer then. I just saved, so we should. Even if it does, I could always just reload. Yeah, sounds cool. All right, look up. Politzer. By the way, did you uh, like the voice? By the way, of the last <laughs> guy. I did. I did. It was amazing. Rather theatrical, I know. Very, very dramatic. I, mm, I, I mm. thought he was a bit too loud. Yeah, um, a bit, a bit too uh, in your face. I feel. Yeah, I'll have to play him even shyer next time. <laughs> Yeah, but I was I was going for a bit of a shy Ronnie thing there. Basically, next time you need to turn him into Honey Senpai, and then that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm really, really sleepy. Um, Don't I'm wake me up. You woke me up. Yeah, except he goes ballistic. You like me when I'm woken up. Yeah, he goes, <laughs> he goes to schizo mode. All right, looking up Jack Politzer or Politzer or whatever the balls. If he's ever appeared in court, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, just my luck, no hits. Time to try another search in one of the Crown Attorney's computers again. Alright. Does it matter which one? I uh, know. We need to check the tray in the copy room, apparently. Mm -hmm. Oh, shh. That expires today as well, apparently. I checked our projects. It didn't come up with anything. Oh, whatever. At least okay, I locked mm. out. I lucked out. So, yeah, because otherwise Jonathan would have been like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> you. Yeah, would have. Daruz, just who I was looking for. How are you doing? Would you like to attend another meeting, maybe? I'm doing well, thanks. Are you going to cock block us again? Oh, I'm going to try. Uh, good to hear it. If you have a few minutes, can you focus on the Campbell files? Uh, okay, I'm confused why the guide sent us to the copy room, to be honest. Uh, no, the um reception. Huh? No, it says check the tray in the copy room. Oh. Hmm. Wait, are we supposed to click on it? Uh, no. Maybe it's a during day thing. It is the day, it's the uh, morning. Yeah. No, you've got to remember your screen's slightly faster than mine, so... Oh, yeah, no, literally, there was nothing. There was nothing. Okay. Um, um yeah, so you're back in the office now, yeah? Yep. Okay. All right. It seemed uh... like a second delay, but... Oh, okay, all right. Um, I guess play solitaire and then eat some lunch. Because I'll yes, get in clim climbing, climbing. And then speak to Jonathan and get that last little bit of meter so we can finally ask him out. Yeah, I would. We might even learn something about the case by asking him out. Mm, possibly. 
Hey Dana, how are you doing? I'm doing well, you... thanks. I'm glad to hear that. I've got something for Avi Clark. I'd appreciate you doing. Oh, it's not Avi Patel for once, or her. No, it's a favor for another prosecutor. Clark is accused of begetting <laughs> livestock in <laughs> Quebec City. Begetting. <laughs> He he begot where he put them. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm <laughs> Yes. Beligering, uh, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay. Um okay. Uh, okay. We gotta draft a memo for Ross, but as long as we do that today I think we're good. Yes, that's cool. Alright, talk with Jonathan, chat about work. Hey, sweetheart, you're doing great work. Could you help me out with RV Anderson prep? It's preparation for a trial. Doffy is bringing Anderson up on fraud charges. Make a nice little packet. Oh, that's there's that tiny little sliver. Are you kidding me? Tiny little sliver at the end. I tell you what, should we uh, leave him hanging here? Wanting <laughs> more or... I really want to know what happens when you ask them out. It probably fills when you complete it. If not, then we'll leave it because it's getting late. <laughs> All right, sounds good. All right. Uh, what we got a draft thing for Ross? We should probably do that. Yeah, sounds good. Oh, we were only given that today as well. Is there uh, anything we can do for Jonathan? Uh, we were given the thing from Pierre today as well. Um, yeah, let, yeah, just photocopy both things. Let's again. just do Jonathan's thing then. Alright, cool. Spend the early afternoon making photocopies of the report. Um, Spend the late afternoon photocopying Pierre's? Or? Uh, I'm wondering if we can perhaps report to Jonathan now and we'll get that last little bit of meter. Mm. So. Let's have a look. What? Actually, wait, 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 wait. Let's say one sec, bud. I'm going to just check on something. One sec. I just think I heard an outside sound. One sec. Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that. Cellar tape emergency. Alrighty then, no worries. Mm. Okay, I've saved, so for some reason we lose points, it's all good. Yeah. We are on 12 stress already. Yeah, I know. Here's more for this RV Anderson prep. Come on, fucking... Is that, is that it full now? Is that it full? Mm, I don't know. Because we just did Don't it. try and mask him out anyway. I mean, he's on 12 stress. I just lo I just saved, though. So what I'm thinking is I'll reload, because he'll get pissed if I speak to him without having done his thing. You know what he's like. Yeah. Um, But uh, let's see if that's the meter full. It doesn't look it to me, but I don't know. Because usually when you get work from them, the meter goes up a little bit. So yeah. I'm kind of wondering if that's it. Okay. Yeah! Yes! I like that. How about tomorrow evening at the expensive food? Yes! Wow, what an unimaginative restaurant, though. <laughs> oh, jeez, I'm so excited. All right, everything is coming up, Dana. Oh, that's what I'm thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very oh. poor choice of words, I think. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so now we know that that's what it looks like when it's full. Okay. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like when you're in the pink. Yay, so now we finally get to go on a date with Jonathan. Amazing. Is it tonight we're going on the date with Jonathan? Uh, I don't know. Let's say... I think that was implied, yeah. That was, it was implied, yes. Oh, now our thing has a little Jonathan symbol. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go to the thing just in case it's tonight. All right. Yeah, the expensive okay. restaurant. 
Uh, expensive food, sorry. Uh... No! Dennis. I don't uh, know. Should we buy dinner? Because I could just reload if he's not here. Yeah, plus it'll get us stressed down anyway. It's 30 bucks though, so I'm going to reload if he's not here. Yeah. Okay, no. Okay, no, he's not here. Alright. Yeah, definitely reload. Alright, okay. Well, I think that's it. We've asked him out. Um, we haven't got the ending yet, of course, but we've asked him out. It's official. We're going to go on a date. It's going to be amazing. We're going to be, like, so together. I, I'm already sketching his name on all the notebooks, don't I? <laughs> I wonder when we're actually going to go, then, because, well, yeah. Yeah. He did heavily imply, like, what did he actually say again? Like, I'd like that, let's go out to the expensive food. He didn't say when. Yeah, you said everything's coming up, Dana. Uh, he said, I like that. Sounds interesting. Uh, should I... I want, uh, I don't know. I'm wondering if I should actually reload and ask him again because I, I don't. Maybe we missed it because we're too busy laughing. <laughs> yeah. Um. If if I don't know, let's quickly check because you know it takes two seconds and then no, I don't want to overwrite. No, no, I don't want to do that. No. Yeah. I, I'm just I'm just thinking. Did we miss it? Because I don't I don't know. Uh, okay, no, he doesn't say. He does not say. All right. I guess when we see him at work tomorrow, he'll give us a time or whatever. Yeah. All right, sounds well, good. I'm happy to call it there, if you are. We've asked him out, so we're good. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. All righty. Oh. Well, uh, hmm? oh, no, no, sounds good. All right, well, uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye. Bye.